Happy day crystal souls, hope you're doing great. Today I'm coming with a new picky card reading and this one is your love prediction for the month of June. If you are looking for your personal reading, I also provide my services so you can find all the details down below. Same thing for my Instagram and my spiritual shop, which by the way, I try to post daily readings in my stories sometimes on Instagram. So if you are interested, make sure to follow me out there. All right, I think it's time for the reading. So let's start it. Here's the first group, the pirate, the second group, the laboratorite, and the third group, the amethyst. Let's start with the first group. So here's the first card for the overall energy. Here we have the number three, so this symbolizes growth and birth in general. I'm seeing growth with the flowers also. So there may be something that will blossom in love in uh, June. So I'm also seeing some type of revelation. Maybe you are going to move on from past relationships because these ones are planted on the ground. So this is something you have you've been moving on from. And then there's something that is actually on a pedestal kind of so this means for me there might be someone that is important to you that might actually come to you or maybe you have someone in mind that is actually going to shine to you and be presented to you so this can be a representation of an opportunity um, in order for you to actually connect with this one and i believe this will come when you will move on from the past so if you have still some kind of residual energy or if you are thinking of an ex or past relationships, if you have still some wounds that reside within yourself, this may be a block for this opportunity to come. And I'm also saying that this is on top of a bucket. So it can be on the bucket list for you to be uh, with someone or it can also be just a bucket list for you to experience true love. So this one can be presented to you. And the knives that you can see here, they represent actually the force of the intellect, logic, reason. So it's also associated with the hair element, by the way. So it can be that this is an air sign. Um, it can also be that this is actually someone who is very intelligent, very logic. Or this is asking you to be logical with the choice you will make in love. In order for you to not be in pain anymore. Because maybe in the past you was choosing people that were, um, you know, a bit... A bit directive or manipulating you or it was just hurtful to be with these people especially at the end of the relationship so this is presenting you to move on in order for you to welcome another another opportunity of love with someone new the queen of swords so this one symbolizes someone who is independent free thinking composed and intelligent so i'm seeing you actually directing your your arc in one direction. There's no arrow here, so it means for me you are actually manifesting out of your thoughts, beliefs, whatever you desire. So this is ask asking you to tap into your power, tap into your thoughts, your demands in order for this opportunity of love to manifest. So I'm saying you're pretty much manifesting out of your, yeah, of your mind. So I think anything you may think of, believe, is going to have a very big impact on your manifestation. I'm seeing growth here, I'm seeing support, so it can be friends with the song. Also one close friend to you that may actually direct yourself towards someone. Or that is going to be the voice of wisdom when this person will present himself or herself. Because they may seem the depth in that person. So if you have a close friend, especially a best friend, this may be that this one is going to see clearly who this person is, if this person is right for you. It can also be that this is someone you confess your love to, like you really share everything about this person you may have in mind, if you have someone in mind. And so you are actually very connected to this friend. So it may be someone who knows the story or will be here uh, to listen to you and to actually guide you on this love. You can also see the butterflies here. So this announced change, transformation, rebirth. So they actually announced that this change is actually manifested out of your energy. When you will make the decision to move on, to experience love, then this is when this love is going to enter your life. So I believe this is pretty much in your power and this is asking you to manifest something new. I don't think they want you to reside in an energy that is static or reside in a memory of love. They really want you to give yourself a chance to experience love again. 
the justice card. It's funny because I was actually saying that this is hair sign, so this is Libra. So yeah, it can be Libra, it can be air sign in general, or it can just be a symbol of this justice card, which is actually talking about balance, equality, something that is true and fair, and yeah, something that will feel like a justice. Maybe you've been experiencing painful relationships, in the past and now this new person is going to be completely different and this is because you truly believe that not everyone is the same and now you can recognize the energy the patterns on how people are going to be with you how they are going to treat you so you are only going to welcome someone that is going to be right and fair to you i'm also seeing fidelity here so it can be that in the past uh, you was cheating on cheated on and this is why I think you breaking the karma and understanding that maybe you was choosing someone that was not right for you is going to feel like justice because you are going to attract someone that is very faithful. This is someone who wants commitment, balance in a relationship. This is someone who is actually someone you can trust and also this is someone who wants to be completely trustful in this relationship. I'm not saying that this is someone who wants some type of conflict or that is going to be here to manipulate you in some way. This is someone who is very, very respectful and wants freedom in relationship, but freedom in a way of like ex exploring things, exploring new things in order for them to be secure in this relationship. So I think they want you to feel free in that relationship with them, uh, free to express yourself, free to be yourself, free to have fun, see? So I think this is pretty much someone who is going to make you feel good and that is going to respect who you are. And again, you can see the butterfly. So change is definitely coming for you. I'm also th seeing the third eye being open, the feather. So the feather is actually a representation of desire, something you are passionate about. I'm seeing this bubble, or it can be a crystal ball. So it can be a distinct person that will enter your life. So it can be someone that is a soulmate or a twin flame. But I'm seeing that this is someone you probably met in past lives. I'm seeing this as a bubble. So this bubble can be someone that is going to protect you, someone that is going to be very attentive to how you feel because they want you to feel good in this relationship. And this is what is going to create more balance between you two. The wings here represent freedom. So as I said, this is going to be a relationship that is going to be pure, that is going to be trustful. So you can feel free and, and good around the person. And the moon here is a symbol of clarity in general so this may be someone who's going to be completely honest to you completely clear and also i'm seeing this as dreams and emotions so this may be your dream person someone who was wanting uh, to manifest in your life or the type of person you was actually dreaming of um, for a long time so this person is going to be presented to you or this can be also that this person is going to be making you feel good emotionally this is someone who's also emotionally in tune balanced for sure so i think this is why the two of you will be able to grow with each other and this may be a very strong connection between you two something that is definitely a committed relationship the two of pentacles so this one is a symbol of balance again and this can be juggling so it can be that you are juggling between two people or between the past and the present because it can be that you are projecting any past visual pains or traumas onto new people. You kind of see like the same patterns in people or you project these things and so they are not really real but it's because you've been so much in pain with past relationships that you kind of fear to attract the same type of person. Now, if you believe you are going to attract the same type of person, the universe is going to respond to your thoughts and beliefs. So this is why you need to remain positive, you need to be open, and you need to be hopeful that this person is going to be completely different. And trust me, this is someone completely different because this is someone who wants to be fair, justice, in a relationship. This is someone who wants commitment, something strong, something they can trust to feel good. This is also someone who is going to be a bit analytic in the beginning because they want a relationship that is going to to work, not something that is going to last for a few days. They are going to take their time to know you, um, to see if you are a great match, if your energy is working well with each other. So yeah, I'm saying that this person may be 
analytic or maybe you are going to be this type of person because you don't want to make a mistake again you want someone that is going to be right for you so this may be why you kind of juggle between the past and, and this present person that will be presented. Now you have to be open, you have to be welcoming also for the energy, this new energy, this new person to be welcomed in your life, to enter your life. Because if you resist it, this is going to go away and this person this person is not going to wait for you. So you really need to be open, you need to only see the present moment. You know, this, this past was just to build yourself the rest doesn't really matter because everyone is different and everyone will treat you differently unless you think you deserve to actually learn again the, this type of lesson um, or maybe you reside in fear and so the universe is wanting to break free of that fear to make you break free of that fear in order for you to grow so if you haven't been moving on or learning this lesson then yes you can attract someone that is going to be similar but this is not what i'm saying here so i think a lot of you have been working on something new i've been forgiving the past moving on from this healing from those wounds in order for you to welcome something new because you deserve to experience something new so there is no need to welcome the past it's time for you to move on and be in that present moment because as I say on a lot of readings, the present moment is the only time that truly exists. The future is never reachable and the past is in the past. So it's not supposed to affect your present moment. You are supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be excited to leave right now. So I think this is pretty much telling you about this. If this is about the past, it can also be about two people. For some of you, it can be two people in mind. So you need to make a clear demand to take one clear direction in love. You have one hurt, so there is only one place for one person here. I'm also seeing this red ribbon here. So this is a symbol that you are connected to this person that will come. And as I said, this can be a soulmate, this can be a twin flame, but there is a spiritual connection between you two. So this is why you need to make a clear demand and take a clear direction with this relationship in order for you to unite with this one. So if you have two person being presented to you, I think this this is pretty much of a challenge for you to recognize who is actually connected to you spiritually so you can be happy with this person and find balance in your relationship. So on this card you can also see the number three, so again growth. I think these old experiences this was meant for you to grow and understand the lesson, understand how you can improve yourself, but also manifest better things in your relationships with people. I'm also seeing the candle. So this is a symbol of passion, something that is light. It can also be that if you are on this twin flame journey, this can be a sign because you can see the flame of the candle. I'm also seeing some type of separation. The light is shining through this block of crystal. And I think you two are presented with these two crystals. So maybe there's something separated between both of you, but I'm seeing this as pretty much your mission. So this may be a guidance you are receiving from your spirit guides or your higher self. They want you to understand the direction you are taking with your life and with your romantic relationships or um, like the partner you are going to be attracted of because they want you to understand your true desire and also what is going to be important for you in a relationship. Again, you can see the flower, so this is a symbol of growth, but I believe this might be representing your mission. So you may understand what do you need to do or what is worth working on, and this can be a mission as a soulmate or as a twin flame, because as a soul, you have a personal mission, but with a soulmate or with a twin flame, you have a mission in common. So it can be that this mission is going to allow you to actually take the right direction, the, the same direction, in order for you to meet each other on this path of clarity, because actually the candle is showing light on this path on this mission or something that's meaningful for you. So it can be something that you share or um, any type of project, any type of idea, any type of dream or goal. These are really similar, to be honest. 
because again we can see the candles, the nature, the crystal. I think this is also linked to success in general or you want this relationship to be successful. So your goal in this relationship is going to be similar. So again I think this goal is underneath the table. So this means for me that you need to reveal yourself to be authentic, to see what is underneath. So it can be underneath your human body. So this is pretty much representing the mission of the soul. So you need to recognize this and to put light on it. Passion. You need to follow your passion. This is for sure. And I'm seeing this triangle and also I was seeing the triangle on the chest. So I think there's some type of ascension. So it can be spiritual awakening. It can be spiritual ascension in general. You understanding the direction you need to take. In your relationships, it can be with your friends or with people around you. I think you are also here to bring some light. So you can be a light worker or do something that is making people feel good, that is healing them in a way. So you need to diffuse your light, to be authentic, to work on something that's meaningful, that is precious for you. And that maybe is, you know, residing underneath the table so it can be under, you know, you brushing it off under the carpet, you're not really facing it because you may be too fearful or there may be something that's blocking you to actually achieve the dream. So I think it's time for you to recognize this and to seek for it. Because I think when you will align with your dream or your mission, this is when you are going to meet the right partner. So do not resist it, do not ignore it and move on. I'm also seeing the number four here. So this is talking about something heaven and material unity. So this means for me success. If you keep avoiding it, you won't be in a successful relationship. And also you won't have success in your career. I'm not saying you will be poor or anything, but I'm saying that there is so much potential that is residing within yourself that you are ignoring and this is what is blocking you to experience the past. Rather, it's in a career or in your relationship, but I think everything is connected because everything is energy. So the more happy, the more in tune you are with what you do or with the people you are with, everything is so connected because at the end of the day, this is how everything makes you feel. And I'm seeing passion here. So you need to reside in a pure and strong energy. Something that's warm, just like a candle. And I'm also seeing this, you know, being put on a pedestal some, somehow. So I think there is something precious for you that you need to recognize and to follow. As I said, in your projects or in any type of relationship. The garden and the gate. Yes, and everything is so connected. Because I think... For some of you, maybe for the majority of you, you may be ignoring something. You may reside maybe at home most of the time. You're not really into meeting new people or it's hard for you to do so because you may be shy. Or maybe you just feel better on your own or feel more secure. And this is because people in the past were not trustworthy. And so you kind of projected some type of fear linked to... Yeah, people around you in general, you feel like you are not welcomed, you are not seen, or you cannot really feel secure with people around you. So it's hard for you to leave your garden. But because you can see the garden and the gate, this is challenging you to open this door and to explore something new in your relationships, but also in projects, I believe. Because as I was saying, I think this is related to your soul's mission, to your dream, something that's important for your soul. And I think you know the answer. So this is asking you to take this key around your neck, open this gate and explore something new. You are meant to grow, for sure. The number three, the number three here. And the nature all around. And again, the nature on this garden. So you are meant to grow like the garden you are taking care about. So this garden can be your projects, it can be yourself, it can be your friends around. I think there is still something that you are ignoring and it can be a dream, definitely, it can be a goal, or it can be just relationships in general, and you could see them. Number three here again, so growth, the number zero is about completion, a circle. See, so I think this is also linked to security. I think you want to grow in your secure, secure place, but there is something that's blocking you to explore something, something grand. So I think you need to be more open with everything that's coming your way or with every type of opportunity you may receive. 
because we were talking about this opportunity of love, this person entering your life. So do not be afraid to open your gate, to open your heart to this person because I think this will be completely different from what you experienced. And again, you can see the butterflies here. So change is coming for you and I think you are the one that is going to rather welcome this change or refuse this change. So I think this one is pretty much in your hand. This reading is pretty much presenting you what is possible for you in romance. What is possible for you as materiality also. So I'm, I'm seeing something about money, abundance coming, something connected to your dreams, your desire as a soul, your mission even. So I think you need to recognize everything, your potential, all these opportunities that may come your way and challenge yourself to seek for them, reach them because they are being presented to you because they know that you can handle it. You can welcome it and turn it into a success. Trust me. So I think this is pretty much announcing a change in the path you are taking or something that is going to be presented to you that is going to make you grow on this path. The world card. There we go. I think you are meant to empower the world, to bring the light to the world because I'm seeing so many candles, light, energy that is diffused clarity so yeah and also the blue color is related to the throat chakra so maybe you need to voice out something to the world impact the world positively with your voice creativity it can also be creativity with a blue color it can also be something that's pure but i'm saying that you are supposed to be on a path that is going to bring some light to the world you can see a lot of darkness but the light is actually bigger on the globe and you are just stepping further i think this is pretty much representing this moment when your soul was incarnating you chose to go on earth for a higher purpose and i think this person you will meet will be this inspiration for you to grow on the soul's journey with you so this is why i'm seeing soulmate or twin flame journey here definitely i'm also seeing the number two so this is union and the number nine is about chaos before perfection. So I think you needed to experience some type of pain and darkness for you to awaken and understand the mission of your soul, understand the, the direction you are taking uh, with your life, with your love life especially, because this is, this is a love reading. So I think this is you reconnecting with yourself in the very beginning, because I think this garden was pretty much about self-love. You working on yourself, growing on your own, and when you are ready, you can open this gate and discover a new lover that is going to respect you and love you for all you are. So this is why you need to be authentic and not to be afraid to discover the world and to meet new people, because I think they are going to be this inspiration for you, but you are also going to be a big inspiration for people. Shop food. And again, I think this is connected to your soul's mission. This means to me, you need to open the store, welcome this clarity, you can see this ray of light. Now, I think you will have to work hard. You know what's funny? You can see the bucket here, and you can see the buckets here with the water, exactly the same. So I think this is representing that this person is going to enter when you will open up. For sure, you need to welcome this clarity and you need to work hard on something that is going to allow you to shine also with a person. You can see the number 42. So the, the number 4 is about unity, something even, and the number 2 is union. So I think in order for you to reunite with this soulmate or this twin flame, and again you can see the red ribbon, so this is something spiritual that is connected, to, that is connecting the both of you. So I think when you will understand this connection, this is when you will be presented this person. And you can see the stars here. So you are being guided by your guides. So try to pay attention to anything you may receive, see, hear. Um, if you feel the impulse to go somewhere, because I'm saying that this is pretty much of a hermit type of energy. You may reside in your own cocoon and not really want to explore or um, I don't know, this adventurer inside you is pretty pretty scared. But this is challenging you to explore the world, maybe to travel even. So it can be that this person is actually from another place, another city, another country, Ethan. This may be someone that 
yeah it can start from a long distance relationship in the very beginning and maybe the challenge will be for you to travel to this person but i'm saying that this relationship is worth working on see because this is shopping route so you need to work hard to make it work and i'm also seeing this as clearance of energy you need to clear away the past as i was saying on this card in order for you to welcome this new opportunity of love poised and you need to find balance everything is so connected you need to become your own pillar and i think this time alone of you working on your own garden was making you become your own pillar celebrating life on your home embodying the butterfly so you embody this change and transformation and this is why you are finding stability and you are able to enjoy yourself to enjoy this time i'm also seeing again the stars around you so you are being guided and supported in this growth in this evolution of a human being but also as a soul so i think they wanted you to experience something dark in order for you to find a clarity and to bring this clarity to other people because i think your experiences are going to be a big inspiration for others in order for them to free themselves from any type of darkness or pain so it can be why you need to be a light worker or do something as a mission as a work that is going to help others or just make people feel good in general it can also be some type of dance performance i'm seeing art here on this card i'm seeing communication with this card especially but yeah i'm saying that you was transforming yourself and also growing thanks to all these experiences and love in order for you to become your own pillar. And you need to become your own pillar before engaging yourself in any type of relationship because if you are a fragile and entering a relationship, some people can actually take advantage of your fragility and they are going to try to manipulate you the way they want you to be. But you are not meant to actually change or transform yourself completely to satisfy someone if you are satisfied with who you are. So this is why I think self-love is the goal before actually engaging with this person. The wind, activation, and again, air sign. So, and I'm seeing the number three here, or herd shape. So this growth was needed in order for you to welcome love. I'm seeing this wind pretty much bringing a new energy. This was cool here, but you can see the warmth pretty much entering. So change is coming for you, this is for sure, and this change is being activated. This is also asking you to go with the flow, to be more welcoming, to welcome any type of change because this is actually to make you grow in the process. And I'm also saying that this person may be a new person for a lot of you especially. So maybe you don't know this person's face. And this is why I'm seeing only air sign or earth sign especially. But it can be different. I'm also seeing water here. But for the majority, this can be hair sign. All the hair is going to clear away this energy for you to transform the energy into something positive and loving also. You need to also activate your heart chakra. This is what I'm hearing. And throat chakra because you need to express this love because you can see the wind going out of the, the mouth. So this is for me some type of communication in order for the energy to change. You need to also voice what you desire in a relationship to the universe in order for this one to understand what are you looking for in a relationship. And the last card, the wolf instinct. This is telling me you need to trust your intuition. You need to remain strong like the mountains, be grounded. So as I said, you need to become your own pillar. So no one is going to transform you into someone you don't want to be. So if a relationship is going to be like that and you feel like this is not right, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, I love myself enough. I'm not wanting to change for someone's satisfaction. Then move on because you are not meant to be with that person. You are meant to be with someone that is going to celebrate yourself with yourself. And not someone that is going to have to transform you to be satisfied to be around you. Like, if you're not satisfied, just go with someone else that is going to be exactly the fit for you. So I'm saying that this is pretty much about it. You need to trust your intuition. You need to go with the flow and welcome someone that is going to be like you you can see the water being calm so I'm, i believe the person that will enter your life is going to yeah be very peaceful be very respectful this is someone who wants to be with you 
This is not someone who wants some type of transformation. This is someone who is grounded, welcoming, understanding. I'm also seeing this palm tree. So this is again a symbol of growth and wisdom because the trees are wise and, and very old souls. So I think this is a representation that this person may be that way. So this is why everything will just go calmly and manifest calmly. I think this is pretty much all I see here for you, so I hope you will like this reading and that this one will be helpful. If you find it accurate, please let me know down below what you think, and if you're new, do not forget to subscribe. Let's move on to the second group. And the second group. Alright, this is announcing something big. <laughs> the overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune, so yeah. And you can see the number 10, which actually symbolizes completion. So I think he was ending some type of relationship, and now you understand the, the direction you are wanting to take in a romance, or the type of person you want to welcome in a romantic relationship. And this is why I'm seeing you being lucky, because the Wheel of Fortune is just going to attract exactly what you was wanting, or desiring in someone else and yeah i'm seeing this pretty much as as change coming your way maybe you taking a direction in order for you to recognize this sparkle this star it can also be that your uh, the portal you will welcome will shine so it can be a leader in life it can be someone that's popular so it can be a celebrity even i'm also seeing fertility with the snakes, because they represent fertility, protection. Um, I'm also seeing this as you moving on. You taking a new direction and also this other serpent is taking a new direction. So I think the both of you will be in motion. The both of you are wanting to be in a relationship. You two are ready to be in that relationship. And this is why this is creating a circle. So this is a representation of completion, security. So you may actually want to welcome someone that is going to make you feel complete, that is going to be exactly like you because you two are similar. You two kind of mirror each other. So it can be a symbol if you are in this twin flame journey or that can just mean that you are going to be very similar to this person. So your personality, the value you may share, um, even the music you listen to, any type of thing that may be important for you, you will reflect it in the other person or this person will reflect it back. But I'm saying that this love is meant to shine. I think it's the right time for you to start in a, in a relationship. And this one may be very, very imminent for sure. Because this Wheel of Fortune is just moving in circle, ready to give you this abundance, this fortune, this love in your life. So be ready to receive. The Judgment card. And as I said, this is imminent for sure. Because the angel is just announcing this change. So I think they are making the right judgment. You know, they are seeing that the both of you are ready. And this may be the right time for you to, to encounter each other. Or to actually connect with each other if you have someone in mind. Because it can be a representation that the one you have in mind. The one you are actually seeking for. Because it's kind of like you are running after this person. And this person is running after you even though you may not recognize it or maybe you're just sensing that this is happening but also you feel like I'm not sure so yeah it can be a sign that you two are actually wanting to run after each other or this will be the energy of the person you will encounter so this is pretty much announcing this new relationship in your life I'm seeing change with a butterfly transformation um, I'm also seeing support from your guides here because you can see the spirits or it can be any type of spirits that are supporting you and guiding you on this journey, they want you to grow. I'm seeing the flowers, I'm seeing them opening up, so you need to blossom. And I think she was actually working on yourself, healing yourself, um, and being ready to be in that relationship. So this is why this love is ready to manifest. This love is ready to be announced. So I think your angels and guides working on this one is going to allow you to, to meet each other pretty soon. And I'm seeing the number 20. So this is 10. Two times. And this means to me that the two of you are going to complete each other. 
this card is also screaming freedom here so i think the two of you when you will unite with each other you will feel even more complete you will feel even more free so yeah be ready to just be with someone that is your perfect match that is going to be like a mirror to you and that is going to bring something new and different that you never experienced in any type of relationship the ace of one so this is a new beginning and i'm also seeing passion i'm seeing especially spring summer season on this card and i'm seeing autumn season here so as i say delay or any type of timing is not important because it can come faster it can come later it's coming at the right timing all the time when you are ready to experience this new beginning so even though you may see autumn it can come before or it can come after the season it's coming when you are hoping when you are moving with that idea also with that energy because if you resist a new beginning, this is never going to happen. So this is why this is giving you the power to manifest this one. And the energy is about passion, clarity, happiness, joy, something very warm. So when you are going to be hoping, I'm also saying friendship or someone that is in your circle. So it can be that the one you are seeking for is actually someone you know. It can be someone that is working with you, that is maybe in the same school or that is around you or someone you just have your eyes on for sure. But this is someone who is shining to you. I'm also seeing this as a key of life. So this is someone that you probably met in a past life or that maybe you was creating a contract with this soul in order for you to reunite in this lifetime as well. You can see a lot of fairies around. So this is a symbol for me that you are being washed over. Your guides, the universe, the angels, they want to see how you react with people, to see what is making you happy in order for them to work on this encounter, for you to be satisfied with the person you are going to be presented to. Because they really want you to be connected. It can be that this new beginning is going to feel like you uniting with some friend or you finding a new friend in that romantic relationship. So this is why I'm seeing this very strong connection and this energy that is a match for sure. The Nine of Swords. So this one is actually a representation of nightmare, insomnia, fear, any type of limitation. This may be for some of you, not for all of you, because I feel like you are ready. The majority of you are ready, but this may be for the people that are still hesitant or still reside in some type of fear, because they have been experiencing a lot of things that were pretty difficult in their relationships. So they are not really sure about if they are supposed to welcome someone openly, if they can actually trust something. But I'm also saying that this person is curious and seeking for this clarity. And the number nine, by the way, is chaos before perfection. So I think this is announcing that this person that will come, that you will welcome in this new beginning, is going to be completely different from what you experienced. So do not be afraid to follow this new adventure, to start a new beginning with someone, even if this is not the perfect match. You was trying, and I think this is unblocking this energy that is resisting you, or that is making you blocked in that, in that fear or anxiety that things may repeat themselves over and over again, and that you may feel hurt in the process of love. But I believe this is... Yeah, this is just reassuring you, telling you it's going to be okay, follow it. Because they are presenting you this spiral of energy with clarity. Okay, there were a lot of darkness. Maybe you was even creating it. All these worries, all this anxiety. Maybe this was actually more in your mind than your reality. Because you may know that sometimes we worry too much and we kind of create this energy when this is not really a thing. So I think this is here to free yourself from that. You need to open your wings and welcome a new adventure because something different is going to be presented to you. But if you reside here, you will never know. So it's time for you to give yourself a chance to start something new and to welcome something that may be exactly what you were seeking for in a relationship. So here we have the number two, which is actually a symbol of union. Um, and I'm seeing these two. I'm seeing these as opposites, even though they are pretty much the same. These two are nice, and they actually connected with they are actually connected with 
uh, the hair sign and also some type of knowledge some type of logic and intelligence so this can be the symbol that the two of you will be very intelligent in that relationship one may be ready to be in that relationship because the cup can be an offer something that they want to offer their cup to you so you need to be open now i'm saying that you may be a bit distant so in order for this union to manifest with the number two here you need to give yourself a chance to be in the same energy to be welcoming with this new beginning or it can be that this person you are seeking for may be a bit distant um it can be because this is not the right person for you or this can be because they are still wounded and so maybe you need to be the one that is going to show them this clarity show them that you are different that you are not here to hurt them or make them feel insecure in this relationship because i think you have a lot to offer and this person is going to recognize it if they give yourself a chance so it can be that the one that is distant is not you but more the other person so if it's the case yeah, try to be reassuring with this person, try to be authentic and true in order for this person to be in this adventure of love with you. The Magician. This is giving you the power to manifest this relationship because you have the number one, so this is a new beginning, just like the Ace of Wands, and you have all the power here. So I think this is pretty much telling you if you want to manifest love, a new beginning, a new romance, you have the power to manifest it. I'm seeing the infinite sign and also the two serpent again. So I think this is connected to the will of fortune telling you this is going to be fertile if you give this fortune a chance to be welcomed in your universe. You need to start this new beginning to welcome this new beginning, to be in that energy of being welcoming, being loving um, in order for this person to feel welcomed, but also for the energy to enter your life. I'm seeing this tent shining so it can be a symbol of you uniting with this person and having your own cocoon with this person. I'm also seeing this circle so this can be a person in your circle. I was also seeing some type of friendship or yeah someone that is working next to you or maybe a neighbor or something like that for some of you and the feather is a, is a representation of desire passion this candle here this is a representation of passion something that is bright and the star is actually a symbol that things are going to shine or as i said this can be someone that is a leader or shining or you are the one that is popular you are the one that is doing something that yeah is making you very important for yourself but also people are saying that you are very important and you bring a lot of positivity to people i mean you are the magician so you have a lot of power i'm also seeing this as a treasure inside so you need to open this box to not be afraid open this treasure because i think there's something that reside within it, within it and that's that's something you was waiting for Really. So I think you need to be open, as I said, and use your magic to manifest this growth because I'm seeing a lot of flowers, the nature growing with you. Now you need to be welcoming of this one. And you can see the crystal. So again, this is a symbol of fortune, something that is going to grow uh, materially, but also in your relationship. This may be someone that is just precious as a crystal. This can be your diamond. See, so this is someone that is going to shine to you. And I, I also believe that the way you will encounter this person will be a bit mysterious, but you will know that this is someone meaningful because they are shining to you. They, they have something very unique about them that you cannot really explain. And this is why your energy is going to feel very attracted by this person. And yeah, I think you need to really work with the law of attraction in order for this union to manifest walking away yes and i think this is from that energy you need to walk away from any type of old energy that is stopping you in this adventure in you actually moving to something that is going to bring you a lot of warmth happiness something that is bright just like the energy you can see the color so i think you are being guided to move also, it can be move on from an energy that's stopping you, any type of trauma. It can also be from a relationship. Maybe some of you are still in a relationship, but you are recognizing that 
this is not this type of energy. This is not someone who is shining. This is not someone who is welcoming you the way you are. So this change is being announced. And you can see also the butterfly. So change, transformation, rebirth. They want you to welcome a new energy and to reconnect with who you are. Your wishes, your envy in a relationship, what whatever is important for you in a person. Just welcome something that is going to feel magical for you. You need to be around someone that is going to be on the same energy or wanting the same thing in a relationship. So I'm seeing you walking away maybe from someone or it can be... It can be walking away from some type of illusion you was creating around a person, around someone, maybe a crush, and you are recognizing that this is not the new beginning you actually was dreaming of. But you are finding clarity, so you are seeking for something different and recognizing the beauty in someone else. You can also see two crystal balls here. So this is for me a symbol that you are going to follow your destiny. And this is also talking about destiny. So this may be someone that is assigned to be with you. And you're creating this opportunity with your magic, with your demand. Because if you actually make this demand of the universe that I want to manifest my uh, soulmate or twin flame, then this is going to manifest in your life. You will get an opportunity for you to meet with this person. Now, if you will click or not, this is completely different, but you will get an opportunity for sure. So if this is something you desire, go for it, because this is a part of your destiny to unite with this person, to meet this person and see if it's the right person for you. But for sure, this is a new beginning. So I think something needs to hand in order for you to be presented this gate and move on to a new energy. I'm also seeing the number 27. So the number two is about union. The number seven is about luck. But this can also represent some type of struggle in the past. So may maybe something was difficult. And this is what I'm seeing here with the energy. And this is in order for you to recognize that something new can be presented to you that is going to be a lot more worth it. And yes, it will be worth it. The Temple Path. This is also for me a card that announced some type of commitment. It can be marriage, um, some type of union that is a celebration. And ascension, you can see the steps here. So this is pretty much you understanding the direction you are taking spiritually or solely that your soul is calling for another soul. So you are taking this direction and ascending with this person. You can see the lanterns here. So this is bringing you clarity. This is showing you the way, in my opinion. So you may be guided in this path, on this path, in order for you to create a new beginning with this person. But I'm saying that the both of you may actually embody this magician um, so you may be adding a lot of magic or this magical energy. You may be shining. You may have a lot of power. You may manifest things pretty easily because you are actually powerful. And this person may be powerful. I'm seeing two old souls here. And this is why this energy is going to be like a fortune. Things are just going to move easily to something bright, to something strong. And something new, definitely, because you two are ready to experience something new. Something that is going to make you ascend. And I'm seeing commitment here. So just be ready, because I think maybe the next person, or later on, with these experiences, you will meet the right person you will actually engage yourself with. And I'm seeing the number 12, so number 1 is a new beginning, the number 2 is union. So I think this is pretty clear. Round and round. I think this is for the people that are still in that energy. Like you can see the spiral here. And you can see this spiral here. So you may be blocked in an energy. You may actually block yourself even. But you can see the number 25. So the number 2 union, the number 5 is change. You need to welcome this new beginning. Walk away from anything that is making you feel trapped. Because you're not supposed to be blocked. You're supposed to experience something new. You're supposed to be in this adventure and be excited to actually welcome and experience something that you never experienced before. Because if you block yourself on this way, you are going to experience the same type of lesson over and over again. You are going to be stuck in this spiral. So this is why this card is asking you to break it. Go out of this spiral, experience something new. 
give someone else a chance. Maybe you are giving the chance to the same type of person. You welcome the same type of person, but then you are not really happy in these type of relationships. So I think this is pretty much telling you to break the spiral, the cycle, in order for you to be happy in a relationship because you need change in order for this relationship to work. And you can see the stars around you. So this is a symbol for me, and especially because they are out of the spiral, but still close to it. They are close to you and shining and showing you the direction. So you may receive some synchronicities, you may receive some symbols and signs of maybe redirections or maybe a, a person being presented to you, even in your dreams or something like that. Because I think your, your guides and angels, they are showing you directions. And you could see this on the judgment card also. They are showing you things in order for you to move on, to welcome something new and to embrace this new experience with someone new. All that glitters, I was saying this. I think this is someone who is shining or maybe you may be someone who is shining. So I think this star that you can see here, this star here, and all that glitters. This represents for me someone that is popular, someone that is successful, someone who has a lot of gold underneath them. So yeah, I'm seeing someone who's successful for sure. So you can be attracting someone that is popular or you can be the one that's popular, but I believe that both of you will be because I'm seeing these two masks on top of the glitters. So I think your mission as souls, because I think you two are connected, your mission is to shine, your mission is to bring love, clarity, light, support, inspiration to others. So I think it's time for you to understand this direction you are taking in order for you to shine with this person and to be presented to the right person. I'm also seeing the number six. So the number one is a new beginning, as I said before. The number six is about beauty and love. So I think you need to find beauty within yourself in order for you to love yourself first, then you can actually start to love others. So I think this is all about self-love in order for you to give this love and shine with someone else that is going to be like you, that is going to be strong enough, that is going to love themselves, that is going to have a very strong self-esteem. So you two can be supporters in this loving relationship. Crystals, fuckers. Yep, and I think this is also the energy you could see with the crystal here. I think you are meant to be popular and receive a lot of abundance because crystals are some type of materiality. Something precious, something that is going to align with this abundance. So I think when you will be shining or when you will be happy doing what you do, this is going to allow you to, to shine with each other. Because the more happy you are doing something, the more you're spreading this happiness and this good vibe with someone else. And I think this person is going to admire that about you. And I think this person is going to be like you too. So this is a very mirrored type of energy. You can also see these, these lights um, kind of creating a path. So I think again, this is representing your guides, showing you the direction. I'm seeing the water being in motion. So this is a symbol of change. And you can see the mountain. So you need to be grounded, especially in what you do. So there is some type of security, material security. Um, maybe this is the one that you will encounter because this is creating like a window. So this can be the one you will meet, the one you will see that is going to be grounded, that is going to have enough to offer also. Definitely. And the last card, Lotus Flower Unfoldment. And you can see this offer, this hand presenting you the sun. So this can be the divine masculine being presented to you. Or yeah, any type of person that's shining, that is happy. So shining, this can be, as I said, someone that's popular, someone that is a leader in what they do. I'm also seeing this open flower. So this is for me an open opportunity, something that is going to be presented to you, something that is going to be meaningful for you. And some type of floatment. So it can be that this is going to be easy, the water is calm. So yeah, it's going to be someone that is just ready to be in that relationship, that is wanting to grow with you, that is wanting to open up to you, that is 
yeah, very authentic with people in general. And this is why you can see who they are because they are transparent. They are open and, and true, definitely. And this unfoldment, this means to me that you will know. When this person will enter your, your life, you will know that this is the one that you have been waiting for. With the clouds being here, this can be some dreamy energy. This can be that this person is going to be very creative, very dreamy in the way they see the future or they see their career or the life. This may be someone who is romantic also, someone offering a lot in their relationship. This is a giver or you may be the one that is giving a lot in relationships. And I think this is great because this is creating some type of harmony. Alright, I think this is pretty much what I see here for this group, so I hope you will like this reading. If you do, please let me know down below what you think about this one, if this one was accurate for you. If you're new, do not forget to subscribe. Let's move on to the last group. And the last group. So as the overall energy, we have the Prophet of Feathers. So this Prophet is actually a seeker, someone who's actually wanting to learn more with knowledge, to inform their future to their wills and action also. So this means for me, I'm seeing the passion with the flame here. This means for me that your passion, especially because this one is growing out of one flower, this passion is going to make you grow. And the feathers are also a symbol of desire, passion in general. So I think this is you understanding what you are wanting, what you are wishing for in a relationship. And this is directing yourself on this path in order for you to find passion, in order for you to find your other half, your other flame. You want also someone who is passionate, someone that is going to take care about you, that is going to support your femininity or maybe your masculinity, but I'm saying the feminine being presented here. So I think this is pretty much giving you the power in order for you to seek for a love that is going to be meaningful for you. I'm also seeing some type of support, um, someone that will kind of see you like a goddess. See, someone that is going to see how precious you are and how much you can give to them, especially passion in this relationship. This card is also asking you to be taking some action. So if you have someone you desire to be with, someone that you really love to be with, then this is a symbol that you need to confess. You need to confess how you feel, this flame within your heart, because maybe they are not seeing you, maybe they are not really recognizing your love, so they may be a bit distant. I think this is talking about you being authentic and you being completely true with your, with your feelings. So not just with yourself, but also with others. You need to express this love and be true to these people. Even though this may be difficult for you to express how you feel to this person you may have in mind, if you have someone in mind. But I'm saying that you need to be true when this person will be presented to you. Because I think this person that is going to be exactly like you is going to welcome you and be happy that she was confessing or... Um, that she was authentic with how you feel. The Six of Cups. So this one symbolizes reflection, nostalgia, childhood and sentimentality. I think this is a big symbol of childhood especially and any type of sentiment. So how you feel. And I think the way you will express yourself is going to straighten your bond with that person. I'm seeing these lanterns, so this is clarity being brought to you. Some type of imagination with this, this kid actually playing. Um, I think this is also telling me that the two of you want something that is pure, something that's fun. Just like kids, they just want to play around, they just want to have fun, they just want to be in that energy that is positive and that is creative also, in their own imagination. They love to explore, they love to be on adventures, they, they're just excited about life. And I think this is actually the both of you wanting to be excited, to be in that, in that love, in that romance with each other. I'm also seeing these fishes floating on top of the water. So again, this is something very mysterious, something that is actually linked to a symbol that things will be floating. Things are going to be easy for the both of you. You can also see this 
golden ball. So this is a symbol of a golden opportunity, a connection with someone that is going to be golden to you. So because this one is a bit distant from the scene, because I think you are the one that is playing as a kid, it can be that this person is watching you from the distance, or you can be the one that is yeah, playing around, not really paying attention to love, or not really recognizing this golden person being here and, and wanting to be with you. Maybe it's because you are in your own imaginary. Or maybe seeking for someone that is perfect, but you, you're not seeing the perfection in that person that is actually a bit distant for now. So it can be that way. Maybe you need to be more welcoming. Maybe you need to be seeing any potential offers of love um, that may not seem to be clear for you at the moment. The Ten of Swords. So this one symbolizes betrayal, endings and beginnings, defeat and rock bottom. It can be that she was ending some type of relationship or something ended in the past that was traumatic or maybe you just have this image of love that is too difficult for you that you cannot really understand it so you prefer to stay in your imaginary or just have your your crushes but not really engage yourself in any type of relationship at the moment so it's blocking the way for this person to enter this is what i'm saying here so i think you need to end whatever is blocking you on the road in order for you to free yourself from this and to welcome this clarity because you are seeing this clarity of the moon as a symbol that things are going to change, clarity is going to be brought to you, something that's pure. The moon is also showing clarity on top of the darkness in order for us to heal from that. So I think this is a big symbol that this freedom needs to happen because you can see on the trees, they are not growing, it's winter season. So nothing is really evolving. So I think you're stuck. You're stuck in that energy and things are not really improving, things are not really growing and this is because you are a prisoner of something. It can be a trauma, maybe in the childhood, maybe the way you see love because your parents as a kid, because you are ruled by your subconscious mind, you was actually creating a program with the love you were surrounded by. So maybe if your parents were not loving, or it can be also with friends or family members or everyone around you typically, this was creating this program of what love is. So if this one is not healthy, you need to recognize that you need to rewrite this one positively and free yourself from this program that is blocking you to experience this love. Because you are looking for passion, something that is actually aligning with your desire. So this is why you need to move on from anything that's stopping you to experience this true love. The Page of Swords. And again, we have a lot of hair, air sign, fire sign, water sign, just to say. Oh, and by the way, the number six is about beauty and love. So this is you actually creating this imaginary of love. This 10 is about endings and new beginnings. So this is why um, new beginnings and also completion. This is why you need to actually free yourself from anything in order for you to start something new and to feel complete with someone else. Now this card is actually announcing some type of energy that is going to come to you. This is also related to some type of passion and you can see this golden ball, right? As someone wanting to enter your life and you can see this one presenting you this flower. So this for me it is a symbol that this person is wanting to confess to you. Still, this one is a bit distant on this card. So I think you need to recognize something. I think there is something that's blocking you to see it. Because I'm seeing this baby swan uh, kind of being someone you you love, admire. This may be your baby. So it can also be that you are working on a project that is like a baby to you. Or maybe you're not seeing this opportunity because you have a kid. So you... You dedicate your entire time and attention to this kid. For some of you, this can be the case. So I think you need to be more open and you need to free yourself from any limitations in order for you to see this offer of love. Because I believe, whether it's you confessing or this person confessing to you, I'm seeing this opportunity of love close to you. Or maybe an offer of love that you are seeking for. 
So maybe you are seeing this, but still you are creating some distance between you and the person. Maybe because you are feeling like you are not worthy of love or I don't know, there may be some type of anxiety and fear. And I think this is because of the past or maybe something in your childhood that created this resistance between you two. So I think you need to recognize this energy of love and you can see that your energy, that's yellow, and this person's energy, the swan, is yellow too. So you are the perfect match for each other. And this is why you need to recognize it in order for you to be with that person. We can see the stars here. So this is a symbol that your guides are actually showing you the direction, maybe showing you the person, showing you this opportunity of love. I'm also saying that you are supported. So it can be your family, um, it can be your friends, because the swans are actually, you know, flying with you, wanting to be around you. Maybe they are taking too much place for this person to shine with you, it can be. And yeah, I'm seeing some type of freedom on this card, but you need to be free with the people around you, but also them to leave some place for other people to enter, especially this romantic person to enter. Everything is so connected. The hanged man, and this is asking you to actually see things from a different perspective to maybe say things you are not saying because you are too caught up in into something. And you can see one, so new beginning, two, union. This is clear. This new beginning, this new love is about to happen. But there might be something that's blocking you to see it clearly. You are tied up to something. It can be the past. It can be people that are taking too much place, as I said, but you need to be like the tree. You need to grow. You need to move on from anything that's stopping you to step further because you are a prisoner on this guard and maybe a prisoner of your own perception because it can be that this was in past relationships. So your subconscious program is blocking this love to manifest. Um, because you may know we manifest things in our life with our belief, with our minds, thoughts, um, with the words we use, even because words are spells. So this is telling me you need to be welcoming of this love in order for this one to get an opportunity to manifest in your life. So I think this reading is telling me you are lacking openness. You are not seeing things being presented to you. And your guides may be shining so bright to see, to make you see all these synchronicities, all these things, all these signs. Maybe this person even. But I don't know, there's something blocking you to experience this new love in your life. So you need to be open. You need to see it because something's waiting for you. And on this card, you can see imprints of people. So in my opinion, this person is walking <laughs> just around you, trying to show off, trying to make you see him, but you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it, but you see their imprints. You see their energy, you sense the energy. It can also be that this person is from the distance. So it can be someone that is watching over you on social media. So it can be a stalker, <laughs> kind of. But yeah, someone that is wanting to be with you, that is admiring you from the distance. This may be not someone who is too courageous right now, but I believe later on he may want to confess to you or that is someone that is supporting you from the distance. So it can be a friend and you're not really seeing this potential of love with this person because for you it's just a friend. But you are seeing that they impact your life positively. I'm seeing this as a triangle, but also as a crystal. So this may be some type of evolution. The crystal is something that's shining, something that is bringing energy, that is precious. And I'm seeing this as, you know, the, stone, the stones creating a circle of protection. So I think they are protecting yourself or you are overprotecting yourself because I think you represent the crystal here. And this is why you are not really welcoming anything in your circle. You can see these, these steps out of your circle. So you're seeing this, but not welcoming it. So this is creating some type of resistance. I'm also seeing this as water, like a wave coming to you. I think this wave is here to clear the energy away in order for you to be more welcoming with whoever is going to welcome, uh, to, be, to be entering your life. 
you can also see the number five here. So this is asking for change. I think you need to be more open, as I said. Stop protecting yourself too much because of the past, because of wounds, because of the way you may see love or relationships in general. Maybe you see this as something too complicated for you, but also you want to experience love. So I think you need to give yourself a chance in order for you to start a new beginning. The door to value. See, if you open yourself up like the door, and these doors are red, so this is about passion, again related to this prophet of feathers, you have enough passion and this person has enough passion to give to yourself. And this is why I'm saying that if you open this door with the key that you are holding, this is going to offer you exactly what you was admiring, loving in a partner. You can see the number 31. So the number three is about growth. The number one is a new beginning. So it's screaming in your ears. There is a new beginning that is going to enter your life. Now you are the key to open this door. Are you wanting to welcome this energy of abundance, joy, happiness, growth of the flower, something that will blossom. I'm also seeing money, so this may be someone that is very successful in what they do, or maybe this is also you being successful, so you kind of block yourself up because you're not wanting to share this abundance right now, or you feel like people may not be worthy, or you're too afraid that people may come to you because you are shining so bright. So I think you are protecting yourself because of it. Because you have so much to offer that you're not sure if they, they want to be with you because you are you, because they want to love you, or because they want to get something out of you. And I can understand why you protect yourself this way. But I also believe that if you never open this door, you'll never get another opportunity to love someone and to grow with someone else. Cornucopia, 11. I know that these cards are also for me because this is the number of my twin flame and this is my number, 11. So the number 11 is a healer number or this can be 1-1, one, one, new beginning for you. And you can see this ray of light. This was pure, pure thing through the store and this one is also presented here. So I think this is connected to, maybe this is the openness of the person. Maybe he was knocking at someone's door, but this one was closed. But this one is going to be open for you. And you are going to receive this flaw from this person. It can be a sign for some of you. And this is what is going to create this new beginning with the both of you. So this is where you can see double two. A new beginning for you and for the other person. And this one is going to turn into a lot of abundance. This is fruit. These are actually here to nourish yourself, so nourished by love, growth. With the ray of light, this is a bright energy. So something that is very joyful, very pure, that is going to offer you this clarity. You can also see the butterfly. So this is a symbol of transformation, rebirth and change being presented to you. And you can see so much growth. An energy that is going to nurture yourself, nurture your growth, nurture your soul even. So I think this connection is perfect for you. Perfect. And I think you was waiting for this openness, whether it's from you or from the other person. I think there is something that's blocking you in this connection. But this is about to open up. This is about to break. So if you are the one that's closing this door... Open yourself up. Be more welcoming. Give yourself a chance with this new beginning. Regeneration. And you embody this tree, this growth. Even though this is pretty challenging here because you can see a lot of um, like volcano energy. So I think this is blessing you. You was enduring a lot. You was challenged a lot. And maybe you was protecting yourself a little bit because you needed to regenerate yourself. Or maybe this person needed to regenerate and trust you. So I think this is a symbol this is a symbol of growth, finding clarity. Again, we can see the ray of light. This is for me also some type of blessing. And this may come from your guides. They are directing you on, on something. Or maybe this person is being directed towards yourself because they are seeing this clarity, this love, this brightness. And this is actually giving them this energy to regenerate. 
Maybe you are the one that is going to offer this person this bright energy in order for them to grow. Or maybe this is the opposite. Maybe this person will offer you this energy. You can see the number 46 here. So the number 4 is about unity and the number 6 is about beauty and love. So I think the more you recognize that this love is all around you, then this is what is going to offer you to grow in that relationship with more love within yourself. I'm also seeing these, you know, I think this is the lava, how you call it in English. Yeah, the lava. This is actually linked to the flame, to fire sign maybe, earth sign. And as I said, water here. So I think this is actually giving you this passion, the flame. The lava is maybe going to... Yeah, give you this this sense of of passion. You are going to be nourished and energized by this passion in order for you to grow like this tree. So I think this love is going to yeah, heal you in a way. In order for you to grow and also for you to be more um, open to people. I was saying this, right? I think I think I was saying that this was kind of a blessing type of energy that you are receiving and you can see it you are blessed and this means to me openness also because you can you can perceive this as um, a shell this person is actually going out growing out things to this shell this protection i think this protection whether it's you or the other person you needed this in order for you to rebuild yourself and in order for you to Feel free to come out when your energy will feel secure around someone. So I think this person that will come your way is going to make you feel this way. You are going to feel like, okay, I can welcome this person. I can feel good. I can trust this person. So we can start something. You can see these hurts on the background. So this is a symbol of love. They are floating. So this love is being presented to you. You can see the number 22. So this is about unity, union. So I think you two are wanting to start in the beginning and wanting to unite with each other. And again, you can see the stars. So this, the stars represent your spirit guides, the universe, your angels guiding you. They want you to be blessed with this love. They want you to grow with this person. And I think you are going to welcome this opportunity of love. And this is also what is going to free yourself. And maybe you are blocking yourself to be authentic or hiding things because you was hurt in the past by being so open and authentic with your lover or with people around you. So this may be why you overprotect yourself. And this may be why you do not really trust people in the very beginning. You really take the time to analyze if this is a person that is going to make you feel good, that is going to make you grow, that is going to allow you to be true and free also because you can see the wings. So you want someone you can fly with, openly, freely. Someone you can trust fully. So you can actually share this energy with that person. But you are being blessed. So I think this work that you was doing with yourself, your self-improvement, you boosting your self-esteem, working on self-love, this is actually creating an opportunity for you to be blessed in love. Dragonfly emergence. So the dragonfly is a symbol of growth, of change being brought to you. This is also something that is floating away, flying away. So there is an energy of floatman that may be around you. You can see a lot of flowers. So this is a symbol of growth, opening up, blossoming. And emergence is just a revelation. This person that you may not see, as I said, because this person may create some type of distance or just watch you from the distance. This is blocking you to understand who this person may be, or it can be that you are the one that is creating this distance. So maybe it's time for you to reveal yourself in order for this relationship to start. I'm also seeing the water being calm here. So I think this revelation, this person that you will see is only going to come when you will be at peace, when you will be welcoming, and also when this person will feel this way. So I think the timing is going to be super important in this relationship. But first you need to regenerate yourself. Or this person needs to regenerate himself. To feel good. To feel complete. To feel secure. And to feel like they can trust someone. They can start something new. 
in a relationship so they can actually reveal themselves or welcome the person that is going to reveal themselves. This can also be a card that's telling you if you are wanting to confess or wanting to be close to the person you have in mind, that it's the right time for you to reveal how you feel or to just be close to this person so this person can see who you are. And the last card, the full moon, completion. I think if you are on this twin flame journey, this can announce that during a full moon or maybe the full moon is going to allow you to, to connect energetically or maybe in the 3D if you are very close to your twin flame in order for you to feel complete because you may know that twin flames are actually one soul that was pleaded in two halves in general in order for them to yeah, come back in this lifetime and to work on a mission together. So maybe these two pleaded souls that you are are going to reunite and complete each other. Maybe during the full moon or maybe there will be an energy that is going to inspire them on this journey. So maybe there'll be more openness, more revelation, some type of blessing in order for you to, to grow, to regenerate and to receive this abundance for sure. So maybe you need to meditate during the full moon or just pay attention to whatever may come in your thoughts or any downloads you may receive. It, it can also be with a soulmate, but I'm seeing this for Twin Flames especially. I mean, this special message. Um, but it can also be completion with a soulmate. It can also be with someone you love in general. But I believe the two of you will connect so well with each other. So it will feel like an evidence that the two of you are the perfect match. And this is why I'm seeing this tree kind of growing. It was regen regenerating yourself and this person as well. So you can grow as one tree and feel complete this way. And the moon is also going to give you clarity on this path. So you may get some revelation, maybe on your soul's purpose, on your soul's path, on this connection with this person. Anything like that, because I think they are trying to guide you on this journey in order for you to grow and to find clarity with this person you will actually encounter in your life. All right, I think this is pretty much all I see here. So I hope you will like this reading. If you find it accurate, please let me know down below what you think. And if you're new, do not forget to subscribe. If you are interested, also, I provide my services. So if you are looking for a personal reading, I'll be happy to help you. See you, Crystal Souls. Take good care of you.